Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. We're still here at NAB 2022. We're here at the Telestream booth. We're gonna learn about Wirecast 15. We're gonna learn about this little guy right here. It's the, you can't see it, it's out of frame. Wirecast Gearbox, we're gonna do that next. All right, so we have Mike here. How's it going, Mike? Not too bad, how are you doing? I'm doing great. So we're gonna, well, first of all, we'll talk about the new Wirecast Gearbox, because this is good going to be great for those that are really exploring into the 4K area for uh, for live streaming. And we'll talk a little bit about Wirecast 15. How's that? Oh, absolutely. So, uh, okay, I'll let you handle it and let's 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 go to it. Thank you. Sorry, I'm Mike Daskalopoulos and I manage hardware products in the production streaming business unit here at Telestream, and I'm very proud to introduce our new line of streaming switcher appliances, Wirecast Gear 3. So, Wirecast Gear 3 is the next evolution of the Wirecast Gear family, uh, which has been uh, very successful. And uh, as you can see here, we've given it an all new look in a two RU form factor with some very nice anodized handles uh, for rack mounting. Uh, as you can see on the other side here, uh, this, which is the business end of this, uh, we have the 4K SDI model. And here what we have is uh, one, two, three, four, 1080p, or sorry, or 4K 60, 12G SDI uh, inputs, as well as a 1080p input here and a 1080p output here uh, for program monitoring. Uh, in addition, we have uh, seven different USB 3.1 ports, including five USB 3.1 Gen 2, so plenty of uh, bandwidth for attaching uh, peripheral storage, etc. And uh, one of the unique features of uh, Gear entire product line now has GPUs. So you have GPU acceleration of both encodes, of which you can do up to three at 4K60, and effects such as chroma keys and titles and such, which uh, really help the uh, Gear unit uh, do its thing without burdening the CPU. Now, now the CPU, you, you, uh, very interesting. You said there's NVIDIA graphics in here. It's not an Intel, it's, it's an AMD processor in there, right? It, it is, and what we found was that it runs cooler, quieter, and 66% faster than the original gear, and that adds up to a really tremendous opportunity to actually get uh, gear into 4K production workflows and be able to do other things, like, for example, run ProPresenter in the House of Worship market or run Teams in Zoom and, and be able to do all of this and still have room to, you know, to breathe actually without worrying about whether your machine is gonna, you know, get to 100% or drop frames. So so which processor, which AMD processor is in there? Uh, this one is the Ryzen 5 5600X, six core, uh, 12 thread, and uh, extremely powerful compared to the previous generation. Okay, and you, we're, we're, seeing, we're seeing the SDI model, but there's also an, uh, an HDMI model too, right? Yeah, so there are four models. Um, the uh, HD, HDMI, and HDSDI models, both of which have four 1080p60 inputs, as well as the 4K HDMI and 4K SDI models, which have uh, 4K inputs. Of course, the HDMI would replace these four with HDMI uh, at 18 gig, so full RGB444, or in this case, YUV422 uh, 4K60, plus an extra 1080p60 in and out uh, okay. for other uses. Is it available now, and how much is it? Um, it should be available in May. Uh, it, the prices start at $74.95 for the HD HDMI model and go up to $99.95 for the 4K SDI model. Okay, and perfect for 4K. So a uh, great little box right there, the Wirecast Gear 3, correct? Correct. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Wirecast 15. Just came out uh, this uh, last week, or last, yeah, a couple weeks ago, yeah? Something like that, yeah. So let's, uh, let's head over here. Tell us a little bit about what the changes are. So Wirecast 15 uh, is our latest generation of Wirecast software. Um, the big announcement is performance improvements across the board, both for Mac and Windows, but Windows really is the big beneficiary because we have switched to DirectX 12 acceleration. And what we found is it actually creates a, an environment where it really de-stresses the CPU and GPU. And as you can see here, Right, I have a 4K 60 SDI source, another 4K 60 SDI source, uh, 4K 30 SDI source, 4K 30 over NDI, uh, 1080p, uh, another 1080p NDI, 
effects, other things running, and as you can see here, the average CPU usage is still hovering around 12%. What that means is that uh, for any use that you're uh, you know, making for real 4K production, uh, this is your box. And you can, unlike other solutions, mix and match uh, different resolutions and it will conform them all to your output. So we, we talked about uh, Windows stuff mostly, but uh, what about on the Mac side of things? Uh, what, what improvements have we seen? So we've, we've made some slight improvements to, and efficiency improvements to you know, different parts of the application overall. And I think you know, the, the big thing for us was uh, just trying to clean up what we didn't, you know, have already. I mean, there are other improvements for both versions, and, and that includes actually the social media comments. So one of the things that we've done is uh, for folks who are using Twitter feeds, uh, Facebook feeds, uh, things like that, we have a comment moderation system now. So what you can do is you can review comments and, of course, uh, bring them and pull them up into live status. So, uh, as you can see here, it'll, it'll pull these up when you uh, actually go live. And, you know, you can have somebody actually controlling these and avoid some of the things that happen on social media, which all of us, you know, tend to kind of cringe at. So, you have a production that's worthy of the content that you uh, have with those comments. And we've improved the rendezvous experience, you know, easier, cleaner, and faster for people to get in and more reliable. So, I think people will be, you know, uh, very happy with uh, the changes, of, you know, for those who are actually you know, working with uh, Rendezvous. And it's a great system where you don't have to rely on any kind of uh, UC system, it, you know, outside of, uh, like, for example, Teams or Zoom. So you can contain your production even if you don't have an account on Zoom or Teams. And Prices haven't changed on getting Wirecast, correct? No, but we have a new uh, subscription uh, service. So uh, one of the nice things is that you can uh, buy Wirecast uh, starting at $35 a month now, uh, in addition to having... Uh, Wirecast Studio, which is at five ninety nine, and Wirecast Pro, which is at seven hundred ninety nine. Yeah, seven hundred ninety nine plus uh, one hundred dollars a year to uh, to keep with the subscription uh, for the Wirecast. Yeah, and that's and that's for people who have purchased the software up front and want to maintain updates. It's actually an amazing value. Uh, and especially for those who need to maintain their Facebook and YouTube destinations uh, and such, where we have them as outputs, which is an ever-changing thing. And, and the most interesting part about Telestream is it's more than just Wirecast and, and Wirecast gear. There's a whole bunch of, the, you know, we can all turn or just around here. Uh, we got content management, VOD production. Uh, live uh, studio production, so there's, you know, you can really build out your studio uh, using all of Telestream's software uh, that, uh, you know, from everything from encoding to uh, to work from there. So, Mike, Absolutely. thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you, Jeffrey. Happy right, to there you go. And there you go. That's <laughs> over at Telestream. You can check that out uh, over at Telestream.net. Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine. Think Magazine put in a geek. YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell notification so you know when the next video comes out. Until next time, you guys geek out. NAB 2022, we got a lot more action coming, so check it out.